everyone, welcome back. So today I have a MAC lipstick collection for you. And this is my collection right here. I feel like I have a good variety of neutrals and some of their popular dark shades. So I was gonna go ahead and go through each one and then um, do a swatch of them and kind of show you which ones I would recommend and for whom and which ones I would just pass on if I had that option again. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into that. And also we are having a Florida thunderstorm right now, which I love thunderstorms, but if you hear any weird sounds in the background, that's what it is. And I am drinking coffee and it's like eight o'clock at night, so I will probably be up till 3 a.m., but so be it, it is coffee drinking weather for sure. So let's go ahead and get into the lipsticks. I thought I would start with some of the nudes and neutral ones, um, which are my most worn ones. And this one is, the famous um, myth right here, and this is one of my very favorites. It's just a gorgeous um, matte nude right there. If you guys can see that, it's just absolutely gorgeous. I love this. This looks really good when you have like a brownie lip liner and then top it with this when you have like a dark smoky eye. It is perfect for that. The next shade that I want to show you guys is Honey Love, and this is also a matte. I really like their matte formulation. Um, I don't think it's too drying. It's actually just right for me. And there's that one right there next to Myth, and as you can see, this one has more of a like brownie, mauve undertone to it. So there is Honey Love. Next one along in those lines is another matte shade and this one is kind of sexy right here and then this one i feel like has more of a salmon coral undertone to it if you can see that it's so so beautiful this one looks really good just by itself with no lip liner at all and then we have a cream sheen which is cream cup and this is one of their best sellers. It's just a really easy, goes with everything, light pink. And here is Cream Cup swatched next to those other four. And then you have Hue, which is another this is actually a glaze, so it's very, very glossy. And this is similar to Cream Cup, I think, but just has a little bit more of a peach undertone versus more of a pink undertone. And then another shade that um, I really like, and this one is a Luster, and this is Love Lorn which is more of a true pink, a brighter pink. So uh, there is Love Lorn right there. And then next to that, we have an amplified formulation. And this one is Chatterbox. And this is such a pretty summer color. I should definitely wear this more than I do. But it's one of those colors that can kind of tend to make your teeth look a little yellow, but it's such a pretty color. And then here is Viva Glam Nikki. And this is a satin, but to me it seems more like a matte. And it's just this really fluorescent, bright, gorgeous pink, which she's so pretty. So there is that bright pink shade right there. And then here is another cream sheen formulation. And this is Speak Louder. And to be honest with you, I don't know if I've worn this more than one time. It's actually very, very similar to, um, which one was it? 
It's actually really similar to um, Chatterbox, if you can see that. So that is Speak Louder. So now we're gonna get into some of my very favorite matte pinks, and this is pink plaid, and I have worn that one down flat. I absolutely love that one, and it is just that one right there. So, so pretty. The next one is Please Me, which is another one of my favorite ones. I actually like to wear these like with a brown lip liner underneath them. Oh, they're so, so, so beautiful. So there is Please Me. And then probably if I had to pick like my top three favorite MAC lipsticks, Snob would be definitely included in that number. It's so beautiful. It's just a cool toned um, satin lipstick right there. So pretty and I love this with a kind of nude lip liner underneath. It is perfection. So that is Snob. Um, then after that, I'm gonna go into, this is a Sheen Supreme lipstick and this one is in the shade Behave Yourself, I think that's what it's called, and it's just this really um, light pink with a ton of sparkles in it. And this one's really, really, really glossy. It's almost like a gloss right there. So that is Behave Yourself. And then my favorite hot pink lipstick and one of my first, I think this was my first MAC lipstick, is Girl About Town. And whenever I wear this, I get so, so many compliments on it. It's such a beautiful color. And it's, um, it's a perfect pink for summer, of course, but it even looks good in the winter, like with a white scarf. It's so, so beautiful. So those are kind of all the nudes and pinks and kind of the more worn colors that I absolutely love. And now let's go ahead and get into the darker shades and more of like the fall shades. Um, this shade right here is one of my favorites. It's called Twig right there and it's just that perfect uh, nude brownie mauve. And that is right there. That is Twig. Um, I love this shade. And then Captive is a satin. And this is another beautiful one that I have worn like down flat. And that is Captive next to Twig. And then another shade that I think is so, so beautiful and fun. And it's an amplified formulation. And this is Up the Amp. And it's just a glossy, pretty wearable purple in my opinion. It's so, so pretty. I love this one. It looks good with uh, magenta lip liner from MAC. That's what I normally wear it with. Um, this shade right here, it's called New York Apple. And it's a frost, and to be honest with you, it's not my favorite one. I'd probably pass on this one. Um, I don't know, I just never find myself reaching for it. Maybe because it's a frost, I don't know. Um, but that's New York Apple. And then here is Diva, which this is one of their, you know, popular bestsellers. It's just a beautiful, dark, um, matte, like burgundy brown, and or wine color it is so, so beautiful in the fall and winter. I totally recommend that one if you like dark lips. So that is Diva. And then Rebel is another one that I love in the fall time. It's just that perfect wearable dark um, satin like purple. And it's actually a lot brighter than it appears in the tube. So there is Rebel. And I feel like this looks different on everybody, but it's so, so pretty. And depending on what lip liner you pair it with, it looks totally different. Um, Ruby Woo, which is 
just the perfect red and it's matte and it wears so well and so long. So, and it's kind of, to me, got more of an orange undertone to it. Such a beautiful red. And then, let's see here, the last one is another Sheen Supreme lipstick, and this is in New Temptation. And this is just a very wearable, glossy red right there. So, and here are, here are my hand swatches right there of my MAC lipstick collection. Um, I obviously get a lot more use out of this hand with all the pretty pinks and stuff, but yeah, I hope you guys found this helpful and informative. If I had to recommend five lipsticks to you to try out, it would definitely be Honey Love. I love that one. I love Please Me. Pink Plaid and Snob, but those are all pretty similar. Um, and then I love, I love Diva. Oh, it's so hard to pick. So Twig, Captive, Please Me, Snob, Pink Plaid, Honey Love, Myth are my most worn. So those would be the ones that I would recommend if you were wanting to narrow down or just starting out with some MAC lipsticks. Those would be the ones I would go for. So I hope you guys found this helpful. Um, and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. It helps other people be able to find my videos. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you guys in the next one.